بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam drank the water in one hadith he says the difference between us and the munafiqeen the difference between us and the munafiqeen the hypocrites is that they do not excessively consume the water of zamzam and the meaning of is to drink and drink and drink the difference between us and the hypocrites is that they do not excessively consume the water of zamzam Umm al-Mu'minin Aisha radiyallahu anha says that when the Prophet sallallahu would go to Mecca, he would actually take back water of Zamzam with him in water skins and in other containers. That itself is a sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Umm al-Mu'minin Aisha radiyallahu anha would do that even after the time of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and say that this is what the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam would do. Why is Zamzam so special? First of all, Jibreel alayhi salatu wasalam. He is the one who discovered the fountain and the spring of Zimzum for Sayyidina Ismail alayhi salatu wasalam by rubbing his heel there. And this was the first answer to Sayyidina Ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam's dua. Imam Bukhari rahmatullah alayhi himself relates, and I mentioned last week what happened. Sayyidina Ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam took his son Ismail and Ummuna Hajar radiyallahu an, anha and he left them there. She said, in whose name do you leave us? In, by whose command do you leave us? And he said, by Allah. He just said, Allah. Ummuna Hajar radiyallahu anha said, in that case, he will never allow us to perish. Sayyidina Ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam went away till he went to the edge of the valley and there he turned around and he raised his noble hands. And facing the direction of the Kaaba, the Qibla, there was no Kaaba there. But he faced the Kaaba. He knew he had been informed by Allah that here lie the foundations, and a time will come when you will have to raise the foundations again. Turning to the Kaaba, raising his hands, he made dua, Rabbana inni askantu min dhurriyati biwadin ghayri li zara. عند بيتك المحرم ربنا ليقيم الصلاة فاجعل أفدة الناس تهوي إليهم ورزقهم من الثمرات لعلهم يشكرون Oh our Lord, indeed I have settled members of my family in a valley that has no vegetation close to your sacred house Oh my Lord, oh our Lord, I have done this so that they may establish Salah So Cause the hearts of mankind to flutter to them. وَرْزُقْهُمْ مِنَ الثَّمَرَاتِ And grant them of fruits in the hope that they may be grateful. He made that dua, he turned round and he left. Sometime thereafter, the water of Zimzim sprang forth. So this was the first answer to the dua of Sayyidina Ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam, that, O oh, our Lord, grant them of the best of fruits and sustenance. And that's the first thing that came out was zimzam. In, in the other verse of the Holy Quran, in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, إِنَّ أَوَّلَ بَيْتٌ مُضِعَ لِلنَّاسَ لِلَّذِي بِبَكَّةَ مُبَارَكٌ وَهُدَ لِلْعَالَمِينَ فِيهِ آيَاتٌ بَيِّنَاتٌ مَقَامُ إِبْرَاهِيمٌ That indeed the first house that was established for mankind is that one which is in Bakkah, Makkah. Blessed and a means of guidance for the whole of the world, for all of the world. Therein are clear signs. The Maqam, the station of Ibrahim, and amongst the clear signs is a well of Zamzam. There are so many virtues. If I can just summarize some of the virtues of Zamzam, famously the Prophet wasallam said. خير ماء على وجه الأرض ماء زمزم فيه طعام طعم وشفاء سق وش فيه طعام طعم وشفاء سق. Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said the best water on the face of the earth. This is a translation. خير ماء على وجه الأرض. The best water on the face of the earth is the water of زمزم. Therein, 
is the nourishment of food and therein is a cure of diseases. And what better when the Prophet ﷺ was a child and his milk brothers came running to Ummuna Halima Sa'diya radiyallahu anha and said that something has happened to our brother. And what was that? When the Prophet ﷺ had been taken away by they said two men and caused to lie down and his chest was split open and they washed the inside with the water of Zamzam from a golden tray that they brought with them. Obviously, what was that story? That was the story of Sayyidina Jibreel والسلام, coming and washing the heart of Rasulullah and before he went to the heavenly journey in Mi'raj, again, Prophet said, the angels came with a container of gold from Jannah. But even though the container of gold came from Jannah, the water did not come from the heavens, the water came from Zamzam. And that's why the ulama, there's a discussion amongst the ulama, which is the best water, without exception in the dunya, in the dunya and akhirah. Is it the water of Gawthar? The Hawd and the pond and the pool of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam from which he shall give people water to drink on Yawm al-Qiyamah. Is it the water of Al-Gawthar? Is it the water of Zamzam? Or is it any other water? And see how the ulama think, subhanAllah. Most ulama say, this is most, not everybody, but most. That the best water without exception is that water that flowed from the fingers of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Then is the water of Zamzam. Then is the water of Gawthar. And the ulama have had a discussion that what, isn't the water of Gawthar better than the water of Zamzam? And others say no. When the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa hearts and bosom were washed, even though the container of gold came from Jannah, and the angels came. The water was not the water of Gawthar, but the water was the water of Zimzam. So, subhanAllah. And if that water was used to wash the heart of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, then won't it be a nourishment for those who seek nourishment? Genuine nourishment, not spiritual nourishment. Genuine nourishment. And won't it be a cure for all diseases? Of course. It's a question of faith. Sayyidina Abu Dhar al ghifar In fact, for we as Muslims, the Quraysh, the Quraysh revered the well of Zimzim. Do you know to what degree? They would actually have a ritual of drinking. What they would do, if there ever was an important meeting, you probably never have heard this, if there ever was an important meeting of the Quraysh, a major important meeting where the clans came together, the major families came together, not just for a casual social gathering, but for a genuine important meeting, then they would actually meet in the haram. They would gather, they would meet in the haram, and prior to their arrival, along with all the preparations, there would be bowls placed out in front of everyone, before everyone's seating area. Then the Quraysh would come, and the first thing they would do before beginning their meeting formally was that they would all, in a very ritualistic manner, drink from the water of Zimz. And then they would begin their meeting. Even the Quraysh paid attention to the water of Zimzim.